Hi everyone, my name is Eric Wu, and I'm here to give you a quick demo of KT Play, the in-game community. So here we are using the live community inside of Rodeo Stampede as the backdrop for our demo today. If you look at the top left corner, you can actually see the KT Play community button. This button, as well as the actual in-game community UI, can be entirely reskinned or recolored to fit the look and feel of your game. So let's jump right into the KT Play community. So right now we are on the home page of KT Play. This page acts as a portal to the community and is 100% curatable by your LiveOps team. <clears throat> At the very top, we have featured posts that have been selected by our community managers as interesting or relevant discussions from the community. Some community managers even use it as a scrolling ticker for official announcements to the players. Below the scrolling bar is the feature video section. KT Play is a rich media environment which supports the viewing and sharing of both video and photo content straight from players' devices. Once a player lands on a video page, they can like and comment and share their opinions directly with their peers. The home page also features collections, which are curated categories of grouped content. Depending on the game, these categories can be used to help players find relevant content that they'd enjoy, or in Rodeo's case, to showcase the winners of a recent live event. And finally on the home page, we have our featured photos, as well as a scrolling ticker of the top active players inside the community. So this is the home page. If you go to the second tab, this is the community forum where you can actually see where the player discussion takes place. Players can share video, photo, or text content right into the community and engage with each other inside of these threads. And finally, the last two sections of the KT Play community are friends, where players can view the most popular players and influencers inside the community, as well as manage their personal profile page. So now that you've seen the front end of KT Play, let's jump to the back end and see what tools are available to the community managers and how they look from that perspective. So this is the KT Play back end. The first page that developers will land on once they log in is the dashboard. From here, developers can view some KT Play specific metrics such as their DAU, the new discussions or replies, as well as newly joined users inside the community. The community tab here lets us take the pulse of the actual community itself. So from here, developers and community managers can view, boost, lock, feature, or even delete posts that are inappropriate to the community. One other cool community tool uh, that developers can use from the back end is the ability to use virtual accounts. So virtual accounts allow developers to interact with their players on a peer-to-peer -peer basis in order to thank players for their contributions, guide or influence discussion, or simply even to solicit feedback. KT Play also comes equipped with a poll feature that allows developers to poll their players and let them vote on just about anything. KT Play also comes with auto-moderation and censorship tools so that if posts are reported a certain number of times, they will automatically become hidden and be quarantined in the reported section for your moderators to review. Similarly, all videos are automatically hidden into the in-review section to allow your moderators to review each of these separately. Finally, the live ops section is where things can start to get interesting. So from here, developers can actually send messages or interstitials directly to their players. So messages are very powerful tools. They can be used to, uh, to notify an entire player base to new events, to reward specific players who have been very helpful in the community, or even to act as a deterrent to warn specific players who have been posting inappropriate content. Here you can see we have the option of sending either a text-only message, uh, a URL message, which will actually link the player to an external URL, which can be used, for example, uh, to link to a merchandise website or to a, another game that you're actually cross-promoting. Or finally, a deep link that allows you to uh, link players directly to a destination inside of your game, whether it's a certain level or the in-game store. So that's a very quick overview of KT Play, and I hope that was informative. Make sure to check out ktplay.com for the SDK and the documentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at ericwu at ktplay.com. Thanks.